fancy meeting you here again. Fake beard arrests on the rise. <gasps> With the annual beard festival starting tomorrow, local authorities are reporting an increase of fake beard arrests. Experts say many contestants are restore resorting to using illegal beards believed to be smuggled in from Stubble District. Uh-oh. I'm not wearing a fake beard. I'm wearing a stubble. I should be arrested right now. I'm trying to get arrested, to be fair. Let's just fast travel to the city hall. This is closed. It is 6 a.m. Uh oh. Oh, they're open. 6 a.m. Bright and early, huh? All right, Ella. I've been back and forth like a million times. They said you can do the vehicle lookup. Oh wait, silly me, so sorry. <laughs> I'm still quite new here. I can do look up for you. Just give me a couple of seconds. Yep, that's the name. Yep. Hmm. Okay. It looks like that vehicle is owned by Mr. E. Jones, Easy Kill Jones. Occupation, university professor. Okay, thanks for your help. All right. To the university! Where's the police station, by the way? Dorms, high rise, university, saloon. Where is it, you know, the police station? Doesn't even exist here. Alright. To the university! What? Yes. Oh. Okay. Let's leave this building. To the university! I mean, can't fast travel right now. Oh, I see. There's a cutscene first. Amelia's calling. Stay here, I'll see what she wants. Hi. It's a me! <laughs> Hi! Listen, Natalie called a me. She left a me a voice a mail. What did she say? Her message was confusing. She said that somebody threatened to steal her beard. And that your beard has been stolen and you were on the run. Yeah, it was stolen by her. I really think we should talk. Come up by my house after I get to home. After 9pm. I have something I need to tell you, but I can't say it on the phone. Okay, see you soon. Okay, be safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. I think she only wants me if I'm the winner of the beard festival. And so I have no beard now, I can't be the winner. So she doesn't want me anymore. I have no idea. <laughs> Left her voicemail and spilled the beans. Amelia wants to talk to her us at her place. Uh oh. Please don't break up with me. Amelia, please, I beg of you. Oh yeah, I can do the whole jelly bean contest. Right, right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe it was like sixty then. <laughs> Why Super Mario, dude? <laughs> that's that's her accent. I don't know. I was what one four. So I'm gonna go with 60 jelly beans then. Hmm. He doesn't tell me if I'm, if I'm closer or anything. It's, that's so annoying. My girlfriend speaks with the Mario accent. She is Mario. It's a me, Amelia. Amelia. Can't you tell? The love of your life. 
Okay, fast travel now. Thank you. Oh, what is this? Ah! Ah! It's a ghost! I found a ghost! Media. What? Oh, the media room, not like the, the middle room. Oh, are I left? I'm very confused. Oh, no, this is the media area. Interesting. Ooh, a beard. <gasps> Fake Banhol's beard. Yeah, I know. Interesting. Is there a file I can pull over here? That'd be pretty cool. Musicians wanted. Well, I'm not a musician. I'm just a beardless man walking around with a stubble. Cause somebody stole my beard. Ooh, gum. I love floor gum. Maybe I come here during the night, I guess. Cause there's no lock on this door, right? Seems to be no lock. Ooh, a food truck. Candy, ice cream, coffee. The classics. No thanks. Oh, it's the, music. it's the ice cream truck music. Physics? Hold on. I see physics. I think it's a history teacher, though. I think. But I remember the word physics come up at one point. Oh, he's not here. Where are you, buddy? Hanging out in the computer lab? Keep chilling out, dude. Keep chilling out. What do these students do here, by the way? Oh, hi! We do all kinds of research. I'm finishing up my PhD thesis. Supplies have been hard getting recently, though, so I'm struggling to make my experiment work. I need vinegar, baking soda, and a bottle. Sure, I'll look for those things. Oh, well, thanks, bud. Isaac's Isaac! Isaac's note. Wait, are we looking for Isaac? What's his name? Teacher's guy? The teacher's name? It's the breakthrough. Oh! The physics department is close on their break. That's why I remember physics. They're doing a whole time warpy thingy. Hey, you there. You can't be in here. Why, did you get lost or something? I'm looking for admissions. It's not down here, pal. Authorized scientist and personnel only. We're not getting in there. If we want to look around there, we're going to have to come back when everyone's gone home. Hmm. Hmm. I sees, I sees. That portal was very, like... Endgame, Ant-Man, the Wasp, time portal thing, right? Right. It's, it's gotta be the thing that's messing everything up. He was a history teacher. Oh, are you him? Hawk Zombie. What a name. I'm streaming games on my channel. I do this every day from 12 to 9. Wow. Say, since I'm too busy streaming, I don't have time to promote my channel a lot. But I had some cool flyers made. 
Would you mind posting them about town for me? I can't pay much, but don't request it seems fair. Yeah, sure, okay. Twitch marketing! Hey! Sorry, bub, your competition. I'm gonna burn these flyers, sucker. So, like, what year are we in? Because of the DVD references and all the other weird references from the past, I thought we were, like, we were like in the 90s or something. But Twitch did not exist in the 90s. I'm almost certain of this. Almost certain. The Bearded Heroes. What? How do I? Oh, there's a ladder. Doop, 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 doop. Do uh, you want a library? Yes, I'm missing some books though. Another Emma. Many students borrow and never return to books. If you find any, any, put them in the bookcase over there. Sure. Will do. Mr. Professor, sir? None of you are him. Mr. Professor, sir. Forgot your name, but I'm looking for you. Eh, I often see the bar anyways. I can find the bar again. Oh, there's more though. Oh, E. Jones. Chin curtain. Do I have that? No, stop scanning. Verdi, Anchor, Chin Curtain! I do have that! Fantastic! Scan away. Access granted. Hope he's not here. The fuck? Nothing to see here either. Hmm. That was a bust. Alright, let's get out of there, man. Maybe he left and I didn't notice. Oh, is, is that you? Good day, Professor! Wait, Grayson? Oh, it's the wrong professor. He's equal to a totally different professor. Okay. Well, I tried. The history of beard and how it saved us. Gibberish. Who are you? Oh, you're a hog zombie. I know you. You're the Twitch streamer. I'm guessing the creator of this game also streams. Or one of the creators of this game. I don't know how many people made this game. And I'm guessing their name is Hog Zombie. Oh yeah, Mr. Bugged Out here. You want a friend? Oh my gosh. What are you, lady? Oh, everyone's bugged out here at university. Everyone's freaking high is, what, is what's up here. <laughs> Who are you? Hmm. What else have I not looked at? I haven't looked at the stadium at all. Go to stadium. Well, they open at night though, right? Nine PM, yeah. From Jerry. Oh, I see. 
Starts at 9, doors open 8, no entry. So I couldn't get in there last time. If you're here for the game, give your ticket to Jerry over there. Where's Jerry? Or where do I buy tickets though? That's what I want to know. Maybe I'm someone else then. Okay. Oh, Dapper! Hey, cutie! How you doing, buddy? How's it going, pal? We're playing Who Stole My Beard. So the story is, I woke up one morning, someone stole my beard. We know who it was. It was my girlfriend's friend. Uh, she stole my beard because someone was going to steal her, her beard if she didn't steal mine. And if you have no beard in Beardsville, you get kicked out of Beardsville. And you go to Stubbleville, the slums. The gross part of town. Ew. So we're trying to figure out... So my... She dropped off my beard in a box and someone named Ezekiel whatever stole my beard. I'm trying to find out where he's at right now. What am I doing? I'm so late. It's only 9.45. I'm going to go to bed in 15 minutes. Also, it's the holidays. I don't have work tomorrow. I can do what I want. Merry Christmas, bitches. But still, I, I do get tired around this time, so. I can try. I didn't, guy. I already asked you that. You said good. I asked you, you've already answered. I'm just exploring now. Ooh, a student fridge. Wait, this is my inventory. The fuck? You want a hamburger? You put a tasty but cold cheeseburger in the refrigerator. Enjoy one of my million hamburgers I have. It just, it just woke up? Oh gods, good morning. So you just like walk in people's rooms? In the female dorms too? That's kind of weird, dude. Not gonna lie. Kind of weird energy, bro. The fuck just happened? Well, good morning, Dapper. Hope you slept well. What you got planned today? Did you do 12 hours in yesterday? I tried to stay up to watch you go live, but I was tired. So you did 12 hours. Oh no. I'm sorry, Dapper. How did it go? I hope it went well. Wait. You stayed up to 10 a.m. You had 11 hour sleep? You had an almost 12 hour sleep? What the frick? I am so jealous. I wish I could do that. I just get so tired. 10 p.m. is bedtime for me. I can step a little bit later, but not much later. Holy shit, it's pickles. Oh, I didn't do 12 hours. Okay. Ew. Glad I didn't miss that. But I've been so sad. If at least they didn't come in and say hi, I tried to. Oh, I slept for seven or eight hours. Okay, gotcha. I mean, if you went to bed at 10 a.m. And it's 10 p.m. right now. That's 11 hours and 45 minutes, dude. Amelia's am mailbox. Currently empty. Just home now, right? Amelia? Hey, it's my girlfriend, Amelia. Hello. Hi. I'm glad that you're okay. Natalie told me all of that happened. You need to be careful out there. You can't get caught. For being careful. But listen, I need to show you something. Uh, give me a few minutes, okay? Oh, right! 
you're not in the same time zone, dingus. Dingus. I knew this. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. This makes sense. This checks out. My bad. <laughs> I can't I can't do time zones. We all in the same time zone, right? Earth time zone? Don't laugh at me! Don't laugh at my airheadedness! Okay, I'm already. I stay there. What are you doing? What was it you needed to talk to me about? It's so easier for me to show you. Embrace yourself, okay? <sighs> uh, there. You s I knew it. I knew she had no beard. I just did the whole ksh, beard ripping part. Uh, there. Uh, you see? Where's your beard? My beard that was sold in the two. Two weeks ago. I have been uh, covering it up. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't tell me. But why didn't you tell me? I was uh, in a baddest. I'm uh, going to put the back on now. Who? Who is behind this madness? We need to figure out what's going on. The beard is supposed to around the corner. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, my beard that was uh, taken. And then somebody threatened to take a Natalie's beard if she didn't steal a yours. Maybe it's somebody we know. Do you have any enemies? Do you have any enemies? Natalie stole my beard, she probably stole yours for fuck's sake. What the leads have you found? Are you close to finding out what's going on? We have tracked down somebody who works at the university. And Ezekiel Jones. We were going to follow up on that before you called. Is the one picked up the package from the park where Natalie left it. I know about him. He's a history professor. I can't see why he would be involved in something like this. I suggest you stay low. We will pursue the professor and see what we can learn from him. Honestly, it's a weight off of my shoulder now that you know. I think I'm going to stay home for a few days and the rest. When you go to university, could you pick up our research papers? I still need to go to my work on my thesis, and it will give me a good distraction. Sure. Where? Francois, can I give them to you? Francesco can give them to you. He's currently reviewing them for me. Great. I don't know who the fuck that is, but great. It's called... Ultimate... Tacky Cat. Best time zone. I don't know. I kind of like elephant sexy time. Oh, that's R stands for time. Elephant sexy trunks. That's the best time zone. Oh. Alright. One of the five books. EST. It's not too late to make money. Okay, there's no dog want. It's like we're going to university to find this guy. Yep. Good observation, Watson. What can you tell me, Leo? Why do bears have hairy coats? Fur protection! Badoom. What a silly jig he does. Alright. Find my job. He's got play one-liners. A lot of them kind of suck, but some of them are pretty good. That wasn't that bad, that one. That was pretty good. I'm tired of following my dreams. I'm just going to ask them where they're going and meet up with them later. So that one's like, it's like, okay. I'm tired of following them. I'm just going to ask where they're going and meet up with them there. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I got to save. Because it's going to bug out here. Save game. And let's see if going to main menu will help me avoid the bug. If I reload, it should re-instantiate, right? Yeah, I'm here to help you out, buddy. Nope. Doesn't work. You gotta do the whole game crash thing first. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The things I do for 200 bucks, huh? All 
All right, Barry. Can you play now? Can I play now, Barry? Thank you. Next is a burger. Another hot dog. Another burger. Another hot dog. Hot dog. Another, okay, cheeseburger this time. Hot dog real quick. Hot dog real, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, fuck yeah. This one's still kind of tight though. Still kind of tight though. Come on, come on. Come on, perfect score. Score perfect, he did it. God damn it, that's right, I did it. Number one, are you kidding me? <laughs> Fucking love that that clip. It's 1 a.m., time for close. That's it, that's all I get. I got a fucking perfect score. Got a perfect score, you're getting the same fucking results as last time? Fuck you, Barry, fuck you. Also, thanks for the money. See you later, loser. All right, <laughs> Professor Dapper, you go ahead and you'll be right back. I'll be here, maybe. Actually, I should probably be ending soon. But I'll be here for a little bit longer. God damn it, that's right, I did it. Alright, I can sleep happy tonight. I can sleep happy. Alright, let's skip this. Wait, wait, no. He might be here. Professor What's-His-Face might be here. That's Matt. Andrew. I will still win. But either way, I'm going to be covering this festival in my podcast tomorrow. Maybe you want to come by and join us, win or lose? Sure. I'm also supposed to be doing a clothes challenge where I wear as many items as clothing as I can. I'm low on clothes though, so bring me some of your. Some of, <laughs> Ooh, sure. I'll bring you clothes. You give me money. You're there in the studio in the afternoon. But you're not a girl. You're, you're, you're a girl, not a guy. I'm looking for a professor. Fuck you guys, some gifts here. Gift items. Ice cream? What is this, garbage? What do you like, Carl? Tell me, what do you like? Oh, you don't like anything. Emma? This town is falling apart! Oh dear, well nice to meet you. <laughs> That's absurd, I didn't read what you said. Well, I will say that we could do with some new material. The museum will be happy to take donations. Where do I sign up? Just bring your artifacts to the store on the first floor of the museum. Abby will take them for you. Cool. Um, I'm looking for the professor. Hey, you won festival last year. I recognize you from the news. Your beard looks different. Still, good luck. I don't have too much interest in who wins. I'm pretty distracted this year. Oh, what's wrong? My parrot flew yesterday and he hasn't come back. Oh no, your poor parrot! I posted a 150 credit reward for anyone who can bring him back safely. I'll keep an eye out for him. Really? Thanks, man. I thought everyone was here. Oh, maybe they're hiding from me. Craig. Landon. I've met you before. Hi, kid. Oh, Daisy. Oh, she's hiding her stubble. She's hiding her stubble. I see. Oh, okay. Can't help her other problems. It's Penny. No, it's Hog Zombie, the streamer. Ella. No, it looks like there's no professor here. Reginald. 
This is the other professor. Oh yeah, we could have won. We could have played trivia night. I forgot about trivia night. Oh well. There'll be other nights for trivia. I guess he isn't here. I thought everyone I can speak to is here. Guess not. All right, everyone. I am wearing a fake beard. Oh no! What was that? Huh? What could that be? Gloop 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 gloop. And we're transported back to the time before time. Well, fancy meeting you here again. Fake beer rests on the rise. We've ever read that. We've already seen that. All right. Let's do one more loop then call it a night. How about that? One more night. One more day. Go to university. Ooh, it's raining now. This is different. Never rained before. Uh, so history department is over here. Ezekiel might be in here. Ezekiel? Aha! Uh -huh. I've caught you. Beard handed. Hey. Who let you in here? This is my private office. You! Leo, cover the door! Bork, bork, bork. Mr. Jones, we need to talk to you about a stolen beard. What? What is this? Get out! Get out at once! Does the name Natalie Walker mean anything to you? Are you police? I'm not saying anything. I want my lawyer. We are not the police, Mr. Jones. I am the person who you stole the beard from, and nobody's leaving this office until I find out why. So, start talking. I wouldn't want to make my dog over there angry. Uh, talk! Okay. But look, I have nothing to do with whatever's going on. Truth is, I was hired to pick up a package. I do part-time delivery and pick up as a side hustle. That pickup was a paid job. I know nothing about it. This game this game is super whack, dude. Told me to pick it up and take it to the stubble district and leave it near the skate park. How'd you get in there? The fucking district is closed. Do you usually just do such dodgy jobs? They were paying well above normal rates. I figured it would be easy, but then I got spooked with all the border troubles going on. Well, I was afraid to go to the district. Ah, okay, that's how. I was planning to do it after the festival when the border reopens. Here, look, let me get it for you. Just please don't hurt me. But, and please don't tell anyone about this. <gasps> it's my beard! Give me back to me. Give me back my beard. Here, take it. I got my beard! Look, Leo! My beard! In tatters! It's destroyed. A year wasted. Wait, guys. Wait. Oh, yeah. Actually, this is kind of hard to undo. Wouldn't you? That knotted beards are hard to undo. Ah. Got my beard back.
Ta-da! My beard is recovered. Oh, his is a tatter still, but mine's nice and back. Will you tell the truth? I was unbraided. I was unbraided my beard. It is now back intact. He seems shaken up. He may be an idiot, but he doesn't seem to be a, like a mastermind. We don't have any more clues to follow up on. Let's pick up Amelia's research papers and see if we can learn anything from anyone else around here. After all, this is what happened to Amelia and me. Who else could have happened to? Okay, Professor, we're leaving for now. But don't leave town. He may be back with more questions. We may be back with more questions. There's a guy like moaning in pain next door. I'm very concerned slash annoyed. <laughs> he often moan moans very sexually, like Ugh. through the walls like real loud. Like like real loud. It's kind of annoying. And now it's just kinda of like moaning in pain, which is kinda of like, ooh. Poor man. You gonna be okay? Alright. Where is this? From Francois. Where the f who the fuck is Francois? Yes, doggo? Yes, I know this. Wow, gee, thanks. I just read a few facts about frogs. They were riveting. Alright, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Oh, this is how you look for hints. Okay, where's where the fuck is Francois? Just tell me. But no, no, I'll look. I'll use the hints. Business department. Alright, that's where I was heading off. That's where I was heading off to. Think he'll be in the lab? Frank? Are you Frank? No. I don't know why now I have a... Okay, it's gone. <laughs> a dialogue box at the top. That was weird. Ching! I'm going to kick that again. If we want to look around there, we need to have come back when everyone's gone. Okay. So he's not in the actual lab. He's probably hanging out here in the department. Somewhere. The only thing about quantum beer mechanics, oh, I've already answered this question to you about. I do, I do know about quantum beer mechanics. Stop assuming I don't. Frank? No? Francois? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Here, Frankie, 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 here, Frankie, Frankie. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Eat here all day? Matt! Get out of my face now. You also make videos for Facetube in the studio some evenings. Oh, that's fun. You're worried though they revoked your access to the particle accelerator lab. I was questioning some of the experiments that are going on. Ooh. I think there's something questionable going on. Well, you were questioning it. If I could access the lab, I might be able to download the results and take a look for myself. I'd give him a computer password and he can take a look. Oh. Sure? I wanted to do that. All right, great. Now I got a password to get in there. Fantastic. Ooh, a little cutscene. Oh, hey there, Indy. Have you seen Amelia by chance? Yes, that's why I'm here. She hasn't been feeling well, so I asked and asked me to pick and asked me to pick up her research papers so she can go over them at home. Huh. Weird. I hope she's okay. Funny, a few folks around here have all been acting a little strange lately, too. I figure something might be going around. Are they using beards to power the particle accelerator? <gasps> really? How have they been acting strange? People seem stressed out. I thought it was because we've been finding it hard to get a hold of, sh of Shag to do our experiments. Shag? Yes, Shag. <laughs> 
Yeah, baby, yeah! Raw beer material. It's a pure element we need to power up the quantum machine. I knew it! I, I called it! But supplies have been scarce recently. Anyway, those papers, they seem to be around here somewhere. Give me a few minutes and find them. Some interesting work she is doing, you know. Here. Now tell her rest up. We have a lot of ground to cover on this work. So the quicker she gets better, the better for all of us. Will do. Thanks, Francois. All right, let's TP out of here. To Amelia. Amelia. Ooh, was a dress? All right, looking for clothes. I knew this. Hey, lover, let me in. I'm not wearing the anchor. Whatever, let me in anyways, it's fine. Hey, uh, sexy babe. Oh, hi, a pumpkin. They're not picking up? Did I not pick it up? I think I didn't pick it up. Okay. Try that again. I didn't want to travel all the way back here to do all this traveling again. I just kind of reloaded instead. The save was right after um, talking to Mr. Ezekiel. Ah, too shabby. All right, Francois. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Yu. Indy. They call me Indy. I thought you gave me the papers. Wait, I did the papers! Excuse me. <laughs> I do have the papers! What the fuck? What? I literally have the papers. What? Hold on, hold on. Where do you see your inventory? Oh no. To be frank, I'd have to change my name. To be frank, you have to change your name. That's very true. That's very true. I like that one. I like that one. That was pretty solid. Uh, items. Yeah, research papers in my frickin' hands. Okay. Oh, I had to leave here. I fast travel instead of leaving here. Last time I did when I wanted to fast travel as have a cutscene, it said you can't do that here. I'm like, okay, whatever. Interesting what he said about people acting oddly around here. And since Professor Jones seemed to be that at the center of this, maybe more people around here are somehow involved. Agreed. Let's poke around. Explore University for clues. Okay. Lockers. All locked up. Oh, ho, ho. What? Can we break this? Got a hammer, right? Never mind. Can't break it. 
I think I have to come back here during the night to explore the proper clues. Let's just give me the hints. You have to people, okay. Physics, history, and studio and dormitories. Gotcha. Hey you, you're people. No, you're not. No, you're not. There's no one here, right? Yeah. Server rack in a classroom? I guess it's a computer lab. Pretty inefficient at cooling, though. Here's a random citizen. Wasn't there a person in here? I thought there was. Yeah, the person asked me about quantum physics. Quantum beards. Where'd they go? I can't go in there. Oh, did she reappear? She reappeared. Hmm. Not important, though. Talk to Francois again? I could. I can't. I could, but I can't. Hmm. Nope, you're just a random person. A random citizen. Oh, maybe Mr. Lecture over here, over, over here. Very, very complicated. Ah, yes, all about beard power. I teach physics here. I also make physics videos from. Oh yeah, this guy. Uh. I think there's something questionable going on. If I could access the lab, I might be able to... Yeah, 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 you told me about this. I can dig around. That was the before the reload, right. Nice MacBooks. What's lecture about, dude? Beard physics, specifically introduction to beard entanglement phenomenon. It happens all the time. You need a comb. How has the academic year been going on for you so far? I'm sorry, but who are you? <laughs> I'm just curious about citizen consider enrolling. Hmm. Well, pretty good overall. There are some major supply shortages right now for many experiments. Oh, and people have been pretty tense recently. My friend also had to stop class because someone stole her. Wait, I shouldn't be talking about that. I don't think of it. I guess things aren't going that great. Still, festivals tomorrow. That should brighten everyone's spirits. Aha! Uh -huh. We got a beard stealing. I gotta talk to everyone, it seems. Oh my gosh. Unless there's only like one per, per area. And I've already done the one, so I don't need to worry about this. I don't know, kind of, kind of like, I don't want to miss another one. Although I just need four, three clues, right? Okay, three clues, four areas. Surely they wouldn't put two clues in the same area. Surely, but don't call me Shirley. Which one? Someone has been posting about missing beard. What a weird thing to publicly post about. Yeah, who would announce that? Gosh. Investigation department should see that and come arrest you if they have if you have no beard. Maybe it's a trap. Hmm. It's another one. Go to history now. Go to the classrooms. Wherever that is. Uh here? No. Oh, next door to me.
I hate how the music stops looping. It's really annoying. History written by the victors. I'm not Victor though. Truly fascinating. Why are interrupting me? Oh, that guy's sleeping. Have a nice snooze. Oops, didn't want to do that. I don't want to gift you nothing. Ah, found a clue. The Mia Studio has props collections from some fake beards. Ooh, all right. I, I already knew that. I already knew that. I'll be competing in the festival this year. I fancy my chances. Even though Parker has no more fish, I have heard someone dropped a beard in there. It's probably still at the bottom. Ooh, okay, that's a clue. That's a legitimate clue. Maybe there's no one in the history department with clues. Maybe I should go to the dormitory area. Uh, excuse me. Oh yeah, I gotta drop my books off here. That one book for you. Uh, here's the book. Overdue book returned. Anyone else? Hey, you lot. You got anything to say? I can't be seen talking to you. Go away. Wow, rude. Mister, we're busy here. Uh, doing what exactly? It's kind of a secret and sensitive. We think we are onto something big. I bet I can help you if you told me. Hold on. Let me confirm my other comrades first. Way over there. They've talked. No, so after some discussion, we have decided not to need help. There are too many weird things happening. We can't take the risk. Aha! A third clue! Certainly is some strange stuff going on around here, Leo. You got that right. Bunch of odd people and strange happenings. We could keep looking around, but given what we know, I think we should head back and talk to Milia. What a plan, Stan. My plan all along. That was my original plan. But then you're like, no, you gotta go back to university. You gotta talk to people. Don't break the sequence. Follow the path I've been given you. You were given. Oops, wrong house. Let me in, Amelia! My dearest love. Hello. Oh, hey. I, uh, we're back. Something strange going on for sure. But like a what? Somebody posted one of those notice boards regarding a lost beard. A girl in physics program slipped up and told us that her friend just had her beard stolen. And some oddball nerds in the library are implying they have, have discussed something big going on too, but they won't tell us what. Beard theft has become whispered, widespread. It seems like an epidemic. So what are we going to do next? Most clues are pointing towards the Stubble District. We could head there, but it's risky. The border there is- oops, my bad. Let's get a back accent. Right, I can't go by myself, but Leo could. Leo can take your phone and we can stay connected. I guess it's your call. I will be stuck here either way. Ooh. We can finally make some progress in the district and buy her groceries that she wanted me to buy like a million years ago. All right. Ooh, shift. Can I go there now? City Hall then. Close I can get to. Bang bong bang bong bang bong. 
That's more like fire fire sirens, but good enough. Woo! Well, I guess this is it, Leo. Need to go alone from here. It's gonna be okay. I should make it back by curfew. Okay, well, if you have the if you have the supplies, call with the any news or if anything goes wrong. Okay, where will you be? I'll probably lay low at the apartment until we figure out more. Best to get heading back. Make sure to head back to cur by curfew time. You don't want to get picked up by the beard or the dog catchers. The beard catchers or dog catchers. Gotcha. <laughs> We're playing as Leo now. Wolfhound extraordinaire. Oh man, this guy's glitching the fuck out. Alright, they don't seem to care about me at all. I guess people can't go through, but dogs can. Because dogs are animals. Even though with translator apps, you can dogs can talk. Why not? I don't know, pal. Frank pays him to stay here and prevent people from coming in. Who's Frank? Look, buddy. I don't have time for stupid questions or smart-ass comments. Beat it. Yo, chill. Chill, my dude. To the store. What's this? Notice. Fail structural inspection. Enter at own risk. Ooh. Want to enter? Nope. Okay. Can't enter. Do you ever see that show, The Wire? Nope. Well, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Rumor has that Red sells some shady items, but nobody's ever able to prove it. Yeah. Wonder who this red guy can be. He sounds terrible. Don't believe anything you hear, though. The store! Oh, wait, hold on. Score. The store! Finally. All right. You don't know how long I've been looking to buy things from you. Wait. I guess it's just beard oil that she wanted? You don't have the things you need to buy? Are you fucking for real? Honey-do list. Reward a kiss. Beer. I got, I got beer weekly, apparently. I don't remember getting beer weekly. Milk and beer conditioner. Okay, so it's not beard oil. Soda. Coffee. Milk? Right looking there. Beard spray. Stubble spray number one, selling stubble district accessory. <laughs> like a spray on beard or a spray on stubble. I like that, that's pretty cute. Okay. So the store was not the answer to solution our problems. I don't know what is then. I'm looking for. His puzzles barely know how to count. Easy money. You're playing poker? Can I play? Oh, sorry. Oh, you're playing dice. Can I play dice too? <laughs> Alexander's dining situation. Somebody's tent. This looks great over here. Why wouldn't one people want to live here? This looks fantastic. Look at all those giant tenement buildings. I can't see where I'm walking. Fantastic. Some kind of bridge area. That's locked up. You can't cross that. Even if you're a dog.
You know what? Just tell me where to go. To Jack and stumble this trick at the campground. The fuck is the campground? Who the heck is Jack? Oh, probably the, the, that little campsite there next to the slums. Okay. To the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Oh, hello. Hey, you get out of here. Just trying to cross. Sheesh. All right. No tax want to come here. Fine. Taxis. Fine. This is why I use Uber now. Gosh. Freaking taxis. Just gotta go to the slums. Okay. That's it. Tent area? Tent area! Alright. I'm looking for, what is the name, Jack? Jack! I haven't seen you around here before. Are you from the other side? Yep, here on business. What kind of business? Trying to get a hold of some fake beards. That's a slippery road, dog. I don't deal in that stuff myself. That's his new accent now. The man you need to talk to is Michael. He lives over by the factory. He won't just talk to nobody poking their nose around, though. I could vouch for you, I suppose. Uh, you don't know me. True. Look, it gets hot out here sometimes. Bring me a tub of sunscreen and I'll make you an introduction. I think I just bought some. I heard students break in Professor Jones' office to steal the test papers. They would need a chin curtain to get past his scanner. Well, that information would have been better for me before. It's a little late now. Uh, oh, I guess I don't have sunscreen. Good thing the shop is open 24-7. To the shop. Just right here. Can I buy a sunscreen? Thought I had bought it, but guess not. I bought beard oil is what I bought. Right, of course. Bring a jacket the sunscreen. Nope. Okay, I thought it was a cutscene. So weird lady standing in the weird park. Late at night. It's being weird. Hey, Jack. Such a... Hey, you got me that sunscreen? Yep, here it is. Thanks. Okay, let me call Michael and I'll tell him about you're okay. Yo, bro, Mikey, this is me, J-Dog. Uh, I'm sending you a dog all by your side. He's cool, no worries, okay? He want to buy your beards. Yeah, 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 the fake ones. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Love you, homie. Okay, I told him you're coming. You'll find him on the south side, east of town. Good luck. Thanks for the sunscreen. You know it's raining. Alright, you do you, buddy. I ain't gonna stop you. Alright. I gotta call Indy. Sure, sure, sure. Hey, Indy. How's it going, Leo? Got in some guy who might be able to help us out and get some information. Nice, keep me updated. Find Mikael. Hey, Mikael. Little Mikey. Probably over here. Right, this is where the factory is. Did I just miss it entirely? Is that guy being shady? Over here. 
No, okay, not that guy. Hmm. Great, great bird effects. Oh, there's Michael. Who goes there? It's Leo. Jack sent me. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. What is that can do for you? Jack said you were looking for information. He said you know what's going on around here. Wait, I'm investigating a stolen beard case. Hmm, well, I can tell you it's been quiet. With the borders closed, Frank has been moving a lot of goods from the factory to this past month. What is Frank transporting? I don't know. My little birds tell me that Frank's been trafficking something valuable. But I don't know what. The factory is locked down, though. Could you get me inside? No way, bro. I'm not going to start messing with Frank. You better get... You'd be better off tracking the truck if you're able to follow it over the border. Damn, a GPS tracker on it. If you can get close enough. Oh, yeah. I could buy that. Sure. If you find out what's, what they're up to, let me know, okay? Sure. Alright, let's call Indy. It's pretty important information. How's it going, Leo? Something's happening inside the factory. I need to track one of the trucks crossing the border with a GPS tractor. But I don't have one. Hmm, okay. I'm hanging out at Amelia's right now, so head back there. We can see what we're getting on. But get one from Herman Stones. Roger that. Two Amelia's! Also, it's getting close to curfew, too. Curfew's at 2 o'clock, so I still have some time. I think. Also, I'm sure if the curfew happens, we just skip the next day anyways. I don't think it'll be give you a game over screen. We can't fast travel around here. Oh, hey, coppers. How you doing? All right, let's travel now to Amelia's. What? Okay, I guess I gotta get out of this area. Just skips right there. Leo! What's up, my dog? Good to see you, but Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I've been bumming around here. As you can see, let me get changed and we can go find ourselves a GPS tracker. Well, we can't buy one now. And I'm pretty sure the bar is closed. We can go look at the bar. We'll probably try to do the... The, uh... Trivia night. If it's still open. I've been telling me that it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. Alright. Well... That will be the end for the night, though, I think. Uh, I don't know if I'll do more of this. I want to kind of see how it, finish, how it finishes off. We're almost there. It would be nice to finish it off. That was a, that was a cute game. It was a cute game. A lot of back and forths. A, lot, a little bit of bugginess, but that's, that's totally fine. Nothing to be... You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, nothing game-breaking. Just a little having the crash desktop. A little Alt F4 are necessary. But only at the, the hot dog stand. I will be back on Saturday. No, it's not Saturday. Sunday for some Dragon Age. Uh, Friday, Saturday, I will be having off because it's Christmas. So I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Times. And I will see you after the holiday. And uh, so San Sunday for some Dragon Age to the 6th EST. I might be popping on or at least being uh, hopping on the server that doesn't have is hosting on um, on her side. She's doing a Minecraft server on Saturday, all Christmas Day. Uh, I might be coming on at night. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
I'll see what I do with my family. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you too, Plinthezer. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Let's go see if there's someone who's on this 